Now, for more on what the relatives of passengers on board the flight have to say, CCTV's Ai Yang joins us now from the Lido Hotel here in Beijing, where the relatives are now staying. Ai Yang, I want to start by asking you about the family's reactions now that a new phase of investigation has opened up. How, how, how do they feel about the investigation now? Well, there's only one family meeting was held this morning at 10 a.m. Uh, just a few media, including CCTV, was invited in. Well, more than 50 reporters were kept outside. Uh, family members now were given three choices. In the meantime, the Malaysia airline has also started collecting information to see uh, whether family members have decided to stay on, go back to their homes, or go to Kuala Lumpur for further information. Uh, just now, I talked to one of the family members. She seems very exhausted, and she told me that she's simply been waiting too long for an answer and uh, it's been physically as well as mentally challenging for her and many of the uh, family relatives here waiting and hoping day after day for an answer and the exact whereabouts of their loved ones. We know that the Malaysian airline has promised to take care of the family members and that is supposed to be one of their priorities but uh, clearly there have been mounting anger, uh, anxiety and dissatisfaction among the family members. For example, uh, earlier we were told that uh, uh, people from the Malaysian airline would go see family members again at 6 p.m. this evening to perhaps answer further uh, questions. But uh, nobody actually showed up, and now it's been 8 p.m. Clearly, nothing more is going to happen today, Joshua. And another question for you, Ai Yang. There was another press conference in Kuala Lumpur Sunday afternoon, and a lot of the family members watched that press conference at Lido Hotel as it developed. Tell us more about the atmosphere where you are at the hotel. Well, Zhongshi, a new thing we felt today is security presence at the hotel. This morning when we arrived, we actually had to uh, go through security checkpoints to enter the hotel lobby. And I was told that uh, the hotel never had to do something like this before. And uh, the staff here had to bring in the equipment overnight. Uh, we were not given a clear explanation as to why they have to do this now. But uh, clearly, this is linked to the growing anger and dissatisfaction among family members. And there might be fear that uh, some family members could uh, emotionally break down or even go to the extremes. Uh, today, only one press meeting, uh, today only one meeting with the Malaysian airline was held and the media were not allowed inside the uh, family room the entire day, but we have been checking the area from time to time and uh, we've seen paramedic professionals going in and outside the room quite a few times and we were also told that some family members were already taken into the hospital due to long hours of waiting and hoping every day uh, and clearly tonight is going to be another sleepless night here at the Little Hotel but for those who have decided to stay on uh, there will be another meeting with the Malaysia Airline at 6 p.m. tomorrow evening and hopefully they will learn more information of their loved ones tomorrow. We can only imagine what an incredibly long and difficult wait it has been for those families. Ai Yang reporting live for us at the Little Hotel right here in Beijing. Thank you, Ai Yang.